Hey guys, so normally I don't really do like a unboxing video or anything like that, but I'm so tickled with the Memento Mori Deathless Edition that I just wanted to uh, show off a little bit, I guess, and show you how this thing looks. Uh, ignore the mess in the background, we're in the process of doing some rearranging here. So, we've got the whole book slip here. Almost like a DVD case, the extended edition Lord of the Rings kind of thing. We've got the Memento Mori art here. This is magnetized onto the case, uh, but this is, of course, my GM screen with pretty awesome bit of art. And then we've got four books in this set. We have Memento Mori, the Codex Gigas, which is actually uh, a real book known as the Devil's Bible, uh, Ex Vellum, and the Archifacti. And if we take a look at the actual slip itself, we have uh, this creature here, which I know to be their representation of the Tarot uh, Major Arcanum, the Fool. I'm going around here. And on the other side, we have Death. So I like the idea that this right off the top represents the beginning uh, and end of the journey with the Fool and Death. The books themselves are like that old style uh, binding that you would see on books from like the, the early 1900s with a nice like thick cardboard uh, cover. But look, all the pages are gold lined for that extra little bit of uh, versimilitude. We have uh, the mark of death on the back. Uh, and then inside, all of the pages are like this sort of thick... Um, old style feeling paper like they kind of have that same weight to it that again a book from like the early 1900s would have filled throughout with these just incredible macabre horrific uh bits of line art um there's things like you know your typical things like dragons and hearts and blood and that kind of deal but just absolutely beautifully done then there is the Codex Gigas, which I mentioned was like basically the Devil's Bible. Uh, this is what amounts to the uh, like Monster Manual. So tons of information on things like a cockatrice with their uh, old school kind of entry uh, that explains the behaviors and abilities of each enemy. I mean, it's a, it's a Monster Manual, right? Once again, gold lined. And then we have Ex Vellum. This is the thing that the players aren't allowed to read. This is full of secrets that I can't show you, so we're not even going to go in there. That's for me. And then lastly, the final book, The Archifacti, is not actually a book. It is a little container for uh, your dice bag, which comes with uh, white and black dice. White and black dice, or two different colored dice, are an important uh, element of the gameplay in Memento Mori. As characters become more corrupted, they roll less white dice, but more black dice, which are more powerful, but carry a number of uh, risks with them. We also have the tarot deck, which I'm going to go through in just a minute here. These legendary blade handout so these are like thick cardstock that would work as uh like bookmarks but these are for players to keep along with their character sheets so that we know what kind of legendary items you have these are all uh kickstarter exclusive items that uh, aren't available in the base game as well as a whole bunch of other beautiful little bits of uh, what they call binding packs. These binding packs, if I'm not mistaken, represent uh, other adventures that you can go on. So we've got six or seven uh, prefab adventures here for me to explore the world of Memento Mori, uh, which does take place in 14th century Europe during the Black Plague. Uh, so lots of horrible, wonderful uh, religious and uh, other types of persecution exist in there. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous and i'll show you the tarot deck in just a moment all right and lastly we have the memento mori tarot deck it is only 22 cards it's the 22 major arcana we don't uh use the cups wands rods and plates in this one uh but as you can see we've got just these beautifully embossed uh major arcana um 
on this like nice thick cardstock with this absolutely insane art and the whole thing is embossed with this beautiful like gold foil um truly this is just absolutely gorgeous in its desolation that it uh that it shows um there there's not a single thing in this game that is not just uniquely disturbing um so yeah i can't wait to make use of these in the game as well basically they take the place of uh die rolls at important um junctures where players can choose to basically tempt fate instead of rolling dice uh, you can get a very powerful or uh, boon or bust depending on whether or not the card is upright or reversed uh, and the Archifacti, or sorry, rather the Exvellum, has the uh, descriptions of what those mean. You can notice here that the Death card is actually unlabeled. I originally thought that this was a misprint, but it isn't. It's just, it's death. Everybody knows that that is death, so you don't need to write it on there. Um, yeah, the Hangman, Strength, the Wheel of Fortune the Hermit, and so on. But we do, of course, end with, or begin with, the Fool. So, anyway, just um, a positively gorgeous set of uh, books and artifacts. And I cannot wait to run this game. With it being a um, system that is only meant to run for a maximum of about nine sessions, I am intrigued at having a... Uh, campaign that can be finished inside of a year so i don't know at some point i'll wrangle some people to come play this with me